Hey guys, this is Miss Harrington and today we're going to talk about what a preposition is and what a prepositional phrase is in writing. So just first follow along up here at the top with me. It says prepositions are words or groups of words that show the relationship between a noun or pronoun, which is what we would call the object, and another word in the sentence. So when we're talking about a prepositional phrase, there's going to be two main parts of a prepositional phrase. You're going to have the preposition, and then at the end of the phrase will be your object of the preposition, which will always be a word that is a noun or a pronoun. Let's get down here to the bottom with me. It says prepositional phrases tell about when or where something is happening. So once you're able to locate the preposition and that prepositional phrase, it has to answer the question of when or where something in that sentence is happening. So let's look at these two example sentences right here. The students walked across the street. So if you see here the bolded word across, this is our preposition. Now again, prepositional phrases will always start with a preposition word and the last word of the phrase must be a noun or pronoun. So in this sentence, across the street would be our prepositional phrase. Across is our preposition. The last word street is a noun which makes this word the object of the preposition. Let's look at a second example. The students walked alongside the small park. So your bolded word here alongside, this is our preposition. So when we want to identify the prepositional phrase, just remember your phrase must start with a preposition and the last word of the phrase must be a noun or pronoun. So in this sentence, our prepositional phrase would be alongside the small park. It begins with the preposition and the last word park is a noun, which makes it the object of the preposition. So if you look here below, it's going to give us a list of commonly used prepositions. So typically when you see these words in writing, most of the time they're being used as a preposition, which means they will create a prepositional phrase. So I'm not going to read all of these to you. I know that you're able to read these words, but I am just going to pick out a couple and over here on the side, I'm going to give you an example of how they might look in a prepositional so I'm just going to start with this word over. So a phrase might look like this, over the fence. So this would be a prepositional phrase because it begins with the word over, which is a preposition, and the last word of the phrase fence is a noun, which makes it the object of the preposition. So another one we might look at, what about the word below? So an example of a prepositional phrase with below might be this, below his desk. So again, it begins with a preposition and the last word of the phrase desk is a noun, which makes it the object of the preposition. So we're going to look down at this practice at the bottom where we're going to do a couple of things. So let's look at the directions. It's going to ask us to identify the preposition, the object, and the modifier. Now the modifier is just basically going to be the words in the phrase between the preposition and between the object of the preposition. So those words in the middle. We're going to write a P above the preposition, an O above the object, and an M above the modifier. And I'm gonna do something extra. I'm going to underline the entire phrase so we know exactly what we're focusing on. So let's look at number one. Number one says, the students played outside at the late recess. Well, when I look at my list up here above, I see that at is a commonly used preposition. So I know that at is a preposition. So I'm gonna put a P above at, at the late recess. Well, this is the last word of the sentence. It's probably the last word in my phrase, but I'm gonna ask myself, is this a noun or a pronoun? Well, recess is a noun because it's a thing, which makes recess the object of the preposition. So then right here in the middle, we have the and late. These are the words that we would call our modifiers because it's talking about the recess, late recess. So we're gonna put an M and an M. So as a whole, at the late recess would be our prepositional phrase. 
Let's look at number two. The horse jumped over the high fence. Looking up here at my list, and one that I used as an example is that preposition over. So I know that over is my preposition. Over the high fence. Well, here's the last word, which is a noun. A fence is a thing, which makes this word my object. And then I have the and high. These are my modifiers because it's talking about the fence, high fence. So these two words are my modifiers. And as a whole, my prepositional phrase is over the high fence. Let's look at number three. Alice walked out of the scary movie. So looking at my list, what word do you think would be our preposition? Take just a minute. I want you to decide for yourself what word would be our preposition? All right, if you said the word of, you would be correct. Of is our preposition. So now let's identify the rest of the prepositional phrase. So of is your preposition. The last word would be movie, which is a noun. So this is our object of the preposition. The and scary would be modifiers because it talks about the movie, scary movie. So we're gonna put an M and an M. And then the entire prepositional phrase would be of the scary movie. Now I'm gonna give you just a couple minutes. I want you to look at four and five and see if you can identify the preposition, the object, those words in the middle that we call our modifiers and what would the entire prepositional phrase be? I'm gonna give you about one minute to look at those. All right, so let's talk about what the correct answers are. Hopefully you found these correct answers. So when we look at this sentence, Timmy looked down the deep well, we would label down as our preposition. Well, and I'm talking about well, like what would be into the ground, maybe where you would fetch water. This is a noun because it's a thing. So it's the object. The and deep are our modifiers, the well, deep well, and the entire prepositional phrase would be down the deep well. And then the last one, the paper fell underneath the small bookcase. In this sentence, underneath acts as our preposition, underneath the bookcase, which is a noun, so it's our object, the and small are both modifiers, the bookcase, small bookcase, and the entire prepositional phrase would be underneath the small bookcase. All right, guys, that's all I have today on prepositions. So until next time.